Today I'll be showing you how to install a smart Wi-Fi thermostat. So this is the one I bought, just under £20. Uh, it is the water and gas boiler version, as you can see. Now I wasn't prepared to spend hundreds of pounds buying a nest or a hive when all I wanted to do was control the temperature remotely. So here's the unit. Looks pretty neat and it looks like it has pretty good build quality as well. It's got a nice black mirror finish to it. This particular thermostat is the Avato one, but the same principles apply and they're all very similar design in terms of the internal hardware as the Moise House and the Becker thermostats. Now opening this is a bit difficult, so I'll just show you now whilst I've got it. You open it up, but be careful not to pull apart too much because there is a cable that holds the two pieces together. There it is. I'm going to probably remove it when I'm installing it. And there it is. So putting it back same way the other way. You need a bit of force to do it. It also comes with these uh, screws. I think they might be a bit too small from where I'm installing it. But nonetheless, they go into the black plate at the back with screws for it over here and here. So now let's go over to the old thermostat. So this is the old thermostat which is battery powered so I can already see there might be a problem as it may not have a neutral wire. So let's push this tab in and get the thermostat off. So there is the old thermostat and I suspected there's only two wires coming into the thermostat. Now I'm going to show you that this wire, the COM, should be live, and it is. And then this one should be not be live, as this is the switch live, and it should be off, and the heating should be off as well. Okay. Now I can see that there's a wire coiled up at the back. Now we might be able to use this wire as our neutral wire if it actually goes to the junction box, but we'll have to see. So let's go to the junction box and see what's doing. So they're the two motors for upstairs and downstairs that power the central heating. They're the two wires. Now obviously you can use a uh, wire tracer to find where that grey wire, which I already have, but I'd like to deduce it instead. They're the two motor wires as mentioned. And then from that, I can see there's two cables running into the junction box here and here. And that in its so that obviously would be connected to one of the thermostats that's either upstairs or downstairs. Um, the wire goes along here and into there. Now from the same sleeve there are two other wires coming out. It's this is most likely the live wire. There's another wire that comes out of there. Which most which is the grey wire, which most likely is the neutral wire but I'll just draw it here for now. Now from the motor itself, there is another wire coming up, the neutral wire, because the motor must have a neutral because it's not battery powered. And then it will also have a live, which we can see over here is going to the live terminal. We also have this switch live which basically tells the boiler to turn on so from this i can deduce that it is a neutral wire now back to the new thermostat the one and two is where the original wires from a thermostat are going to go which way around it doesn't matter the neutral and the live are pretty self-explanatory and the one and two are there if you have an external temperature sensor that you want to connect these are the original screws from my original thermostat I'll probably reuse them again. I've wired the thermostat up now. We've got the live, the neutral, and the switch live in there. Just to show you that I've actually taken it off of the original unit to make it easier to install. Now onto the 
wall and let's fire it up and see if it's working. And there it is, seems to be working. Not sure if you can hear it, but my central heating has now kicked in. It goes dim after a while and there's my central heating running. Now onto the app then. So open up Play Store or App Store and install the Smart Life app. Uh, once it's installed, open it and uh, it will ask you to register. So quickly register. Then you'll want to go to Small Home Appliances and then scroll down until you find Thermostat. And this will be just the plain thermostat. No brackets or anything on there. Click on that. Allow access to location. Add in your password for your Wi-Fi. Then click next. It will take a couple of seconds for it to find your new thermostat. Once it's done, you'll have to rename, or you want to probably rename the thermostat to something a bit more convenient, especially if you're using Alexa or Google Home. I'll just call mine downstairs. Click save, and then eventually it will load up the thermostat screen. There it is. I'll now quickly change the temperature to something like 19 degrees just to see if it's working. Let's go to the thermostat now and there it is. So it seems to be working. Now to put it back on you can rest the unit onto these two grooves here and then tighten the screws into the wall plate. And there it is. I've fitted it on there. Final thing left to do is to peel the cover off. And there you have it. A thermostat for under £20 that you can control using your mobile phone.